Hey Divi Nation, thanks for dropping by our documentation to learn all about Divi's code module. So the code module is incredibly powerful and versatile because you can put just about anything inside it and it'll function on that page or post of your website. So uh, we're gonna walk you through uh, an example as well as some of the features and how exactly you're gonna use this uh, really unique and powerful uh, tool uh, that we've added to Divi. So check it out. In this video, I'm going to give you an overview of Divi's code module. The code module is basically a blank canvas that allows you to add code to your page or a post, such as a plugin short codes or a static HTML. All you have to do is simply place the plugin short code or HTML into a standard or a full width code module to display the item unimpeded. Let's go ahead and jump in and see how to use the code module. First, I'm going to show you how to add it to your page, and then I'm going to show you a couple of examples of how you can easily add some custom code to create some unique additions to your web page. First, let me show you how easy it is to add a code module to your page. I'm going to create a new section here, and I'm going to actually create a full width section. And for this example, I'm going to use the full width code module. Both the code and the, and the full width code module are exactly the same, except the full width code module, of course, spans the full width of your page. And when the full width code settings pop up, you can see that I have a spot here uh, under the content tab in this content box to enter my code, whether it be short code, static HTML, or anything along those lines. Um, it's really a blank can canvas to add the code that you need to your web page. And in this example, I'm going to be embedding a form using uh, an embed code that I'm going to grab from the type form that I created here. And a type form is basically an online uh, form building software and it allows you to you know generate some code um, this script here is a what, what I'm going to be embedding and I'm just going to grab my little um, form embed code script here and I'm just going to paste it into my website using the code module and since it's going into a full width code module I can expect this to span the full width of my page Go ahead and save it out and I'm going to save the page and then I'm going to exit the visual builder and see what it looks like on the live site. And there it is. As you can see, it spans the full width of my page um, and it allows me to embed this nice form um, to engage my users with something very easy to do with the code module. Let's go back to my site here and let's go ahead and do another example. I'm actually going to scroll down here and I'm going to go ahead and create a new module here. I'm going to actually use the code module, not the full width code module for this example. And uh, because of the nature of the code that I'm going to paste in here, um, it really doesn't matter where I add this code module to my page um, because it's going to output some code that's going to place a, a, an action, a floating action button on the bottom right of my, my web page. And uh, so the, the location of the module doesn't matter because of the nature of the code. Um, and so let me just go ahead and copy that code. And then I'm going to paste it in here. Go ahead and save it out and you can see over here to the bottom right of my page you can see that action button um, right there I'm gonna go ahead and save it out and let's go ahead and look at it on the live site all right and there it is and I can hover over it and I can see the information there for me to click on let's go back and one more thing I want to point out before I end this tutorial is that um, make sure, if you can, to uh, whenever you're pasting in code using the code module, you will want to go ahead and 
make sure your code doesn't have any line breaks in it. As you can see, this one doesn't. Uh, but if I, if I were to start adding, you know, line breaks like this, it may add some additional like um, paragraph tags or something that you don't want that would break up the code. So you definitely want to make sure that is best practice to make sure there's no additional spacing or line breaks. That way you can rest assured the code's going to look great and output like it's supposed to. And that concludes our overview of the code module.